can't get over it. We went nine fucking hours. <laughs> yeah, without no fucking break or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I took a couple of restroom breaks and whatnot, but nine fucking hours. Oh my gosh. Um, I was deleting messages on my phone and I accidentally swiped over. Because I got the, that where, when you're on like, a, on the text message, if you want to call them, you can swipe over. Uh, and I'll call, uh, call them. Oh. An accident. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want to call you. Wait, you have my phone number? <laughs> I didn't remember giving it to you. No, not you. I'm talking to my mom. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over it. Nine fucking hours. We went nine fucking hours in a single session. That's the most I've gone in a single gaming session for years, man. Actually, it, wa it wasn't a single session. We, we did get kicked out. We got times, kicked remember? out, but we stayed in the game without going to dashboard or anything, didn't we? What's in dashboard? Dashboarding? Well, it's kind of like surfboarding, like but like surf with your car's dashboard. Hmm. Still don't understand it. Uh, dashboarding is where you press the big circly button and you go back to the, your game's uh, home screen, your your console's home screen. Oh, that that's where it sent me. It sent me back to the home screen. Okay, so it dashboarded you. Yeah, it dashboarded me all okay, three well, times. Okay, well, it dashboarded you, but we're not counting it dashboarding you. Because we went right back you into it. Because yeah, we're not counting it dashboarding you because you went right back into it, and we kept going. Yeah, I, I just cl and, clicked the A fucking button and fucking loaded the fucking thing up again. Yeah. So, and unless you were the one to actually, you know, go off to your home screen and and dashboard yourself, we're, we're not counting the game kicking you out. We're not counting that at all. So we went nine fucking hours straight. <laughs> no, not counting Dude. when the game dashboarded us three or four times in a hey, row. And the worst part about it is, yeah, we went nine hours straight, and we still don't have no fucking food. <laughs> yeah, that's how fucking pathetic we are, apparently. Oh, well, I, I should have been I'm hunting. I'm trying to build a fucking base. <laughs> And oh you're God. doing the farming and trying to get the yeah, I'm bouncing veggies, back and forth and between up. the farming, the hunting, and the looting and scavenging, and, and getting the uh, supply drops. And it, it's just... But we, we did actually get many bikes, <laughs> so I mean, that's, a, that's actually a really good plus. Oh yeah, yeah, we have many bikes now. So, I mean... Yes, we're going to be able to get around the world a lot faster. Yeah, we're going to be able to drive to the edge of the lake just to jump in and get the supply drops that much quicker now. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> they need to stop fucking dropping them in the fucking lake or on, on top of the fucking roof. I mean, it's a simple if statement that they have to add to the game's code file. It's a simple if statement. If drop zone... And equals ab above water i mean if if drop zone equals over water move drop zone it's a simple if statement i mean yeah there's a couple extra yeah, conditions in there but the it's shore. a simple statement to write in the game's coding all they have to do is move it to the shore drop yeah. drop the fucking all they have to do is off by, move by drop zone to closest shoreline that's it and move it like an extra 2 meters in so that it's not, like, right on the water. That's it. Yeah. It's like three extra if statements on top of the, the basic line of code that they'd have to write. I mean... Because... That's like... Fucking keep that's on like going 15 into extra fucking lines water of code. To fucking get the shit. I mean, in total, that's, that's like 15 extra that's lines fucking, of code. 
It's not that difficult. Especially in the fucking beginning of the fucking game where your athletic is not fucking up to par where you fucking yeah. drown. Yeah. Fuck off, train! There's a train coming through. <laughs> I was doing that last night, or early this morning, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, fucking... I, I, I heard, heard it at... I was like, I you gotta just... be fucking kidding me, honking your fucking horn and shit like that. Fucking people are trying to sleep around here. Well, the thing is, the the bitch uh, landlady, the, she's a bitch. Just straight up a piece of shit. A greedy, stereotypical Jewish type of bitch. She doesn't give a fuck yeah, doubt it. that it, it's not worth paying 500 fucking dollars a month for a trailer. A trailer that depreciates in value instantly, as opposed to like a car or a house, a fucking house trailer that you, that it it's this thing is shit that I'm in. There's no insulation underneath it when there should be. The underpinning's fucking peeling away. Some asshole's dog who they're not supposed to have fucking dogs. It's in the fucking lease and contract. Oh, I hate fucking hate when chewed they the goddamn underpinning. They're apart. supposed to not have fucking yeah. And they're that, supposed to not have fucking dogs, and they bring the shit up in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and and that's not even that's not even a grain of rice off the tip of the iceberg here. There is so much more shit wrong with this fucking trailer, man. Like for example, it, the fucking roof is made of metal. Metal is thermally conductive. All the heating that I try to keep in goes right through the fucking metal roof. All the cooling during the summer just leaks right out the fucking floor because there's no fucking insulation underneath the trailer. And the underpinning <laughs> is I just bet. too dull to hell. The basics that she's legally, federally, by federal fucking mandate required to do aren't even met. And she's charging 500 fucking dollars a month. And she's not even paying Damn. any of the bills. I have to pay all the other bills myself. She she doesn't cover jack fucking shit. And the other thing is, she's got fucking land li livestock, and she's probably claiming under the Homesteaders Act just so that she doesn't have to pay any federal taxes or state taxes. Probably, I don't fucking doubt it. That's the only way she can afford a new car every six months. Oh, uh, she buys a new car every fucking six months? Yeah, every six months she has a new fucking vehicle. The fuck? I mean, you add up the subtleties, and you just see the fucking pattern for what it is. This is complete shit. What's yeah. cobweb? What are these cobwebs good for? Nothing. Why the fuck are they even in the game? It, it's a joke for when you set down your mini bike. That's about it. Well, it's not a very good joke. I mean, I don't know the the pretense of it. Yeah, I I don't understand the fucking what what is fucking supposed to be a joke for. I think it's fucking stupid. Well, as far as survivability in this game goes, and, you know, some some of the messages early on in the game's development cycles, some of the messages you would get would, would be like, oh, the only reason you're alive is because, you know, we oh, fucking look, made it so. Any... We're supporting your fucking ass. But I can get some of those jokes as far as these survival games. But the cobwebs, I just don't get I don't get the fucking cobwebs either. Like, uh, when, when I fir bottles. first made a mi mini bu um, bike, and it, and like, they they changed it because um, when you opened up the mini bike inventory to where you put put in the engine and shit up in there, you know, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that's when you um once you exit the bike inventory, that's when the cobweb was supposed to fall. But now, now they made it where it fucking drops a fucking bag on your damn chastity of the mini bike. 
Which I don't fucking understand. Two years ago when I played this game, back when the disc actually still fucking worked, <clears throat> Microsoft, you fucking assholes, forcing players <laughs> to buy multiple copies of the same goddamn game, there weren't no, there were no cobwebs at all. Yeah, see, I think they did it, um, last year, I think. Okay. They added a joke I mean, they... when they didn't add fucking quality of life fixes. You know what that joke tells me? Yeah, that tells me much. they don't give a fuck about the console version of the game. They're just letting it fucking rot and develop, like, cobwebs, theoretically, in the game's coding files. Like, they've let it sit here that fucking long that it's just dead. Yeah, yeah, pretty but much. But if they meant it for a ha Halloween joke, uh, big fucking swing and a miss on that one. <laughs> because this game has no fucking updates compared to the PC version. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be expensive to set it up the way I've got mine set up. Well, well, I just... Okay. Uh, what's your current internet situation? Okay, good, good. Still, you're still in the information gathering phase. Oh yeah, I hear you there. Order you, like, some isopropanol. <laughs> and just fucking wipe down every square inch of the packaging and everything. <laughs> Spray it with the hose. That's your job? You manufacture the precursors or... Oh, you package it. Ah. Okay, cool. You work in a, a type of recycling facility that repackages clean and sterile product for hospitals. That's, that's fucking cool. The closest I've ever come to that was a cardboard recycling facility out in Oakland, Oklahoma. Not Oakland, but uh, Lawton, Oklahoma. That's that's just on the job. <laughs> hey, Katana, come 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 down here real quick. Okay, go on, aim. Are you are you trying to set up your game your gaming package or are you just trying to like get a basic faster? Okay, basic faster. Uh last time I heard Cat 9E was in development phase and Cat 7E was the best uh last year or so ago. Cat 7E is what I have right now. Um, basically, with those cat cables, wait for the E variation, 
and you can wait a few years in between each buy. Like, you don't have to get the latest one as soon as it comes out. It's not going to be that dramatic until you wait, like, five variations and then grab that. It's not an absolute must. But with the gold-plated uh, connection points, it helps a lot. And they'll last. As long as you take care of them, and, you know, you, you don't let, like, an animal chew on them or anything. As long as you take care of them and keep them in a... Um, yeah, the proper humidity, temperature, and, and uh, proper environment, the, the plastic and the uh, rubber that's inside of them, it'll last. It'll last you your fucking whole lifetime. Like, you won't need to buy another one, even if you wanted the higher speed. It, it's just that, you know, the cable is there to augment your uh, connectivity. That's basically what the cable is there for. Um, um, yeah, it is. It's a it's an outdated Cat Five or Cat Five E. It's it's fucking drastically outdated. Plus, um, it, it it's it's manufactured by the the lowest bidder, as per American economic standards. The lowest bidder wins. Damn, you got iron going. Fuck yeah. Um, um, oh, I, I, I got 200, um, 12 iron, um, forged iron on me. Oh, fuck yeah. As far as your, your download and upload speeds, those, those will naturally overclock themselves, and your ISP is going to be completely cool with this. I've already talked with mine. They're cool with it, the way it's set up. I spent a lot of time getting mine set up the way it is. There were a lot of uh, software snafus on their end because their interdepartmental company bits didn't communicate with each other properly like they were supposed to. But that's besides the the point. Um, you just want Sounds basic about, faster. Um, go ahead, uh, get your static IP set up. Plug in the static IP numbers into your console's uh, settings. Uh, if you want to go and lean towards gaming setup, I would suggest getting rid of any cable TV package you have and just go with plain internet. Okay, don't let anyone onto your, your network other than yourself unless it's absolutely necessary. Um... Okay, when when you when you get it set up with a business package and that's what you're going to have to pay for for the static IP, you'll either get a new piece of hardware for your router modem gateway thing. It, it'll pro it most likely be one piece that'll be a gateway. If it's one piece, that is the absolute best piece of equipment. That's what I've got right now, a gateway. That's the best piece of equipment to work for with. Um you're gonna have to call and actually it's it's a luck roll <laughs> when, when you get the right person in the company that'll work with you to set up how your gateway and how your service functions and yeah it's gonna be expensive it's gonna be very expensive yeah cuz you're p paying for the business package yeah not just that every little extra bit like if you want to if you want to be able to use all four ports at the back of your gateway if you want all four of those to be static it's gonna cost you extra for each individual port the way mine is right now my primary is static my secondary all the all the other three are just dynamic and I, I'm getting I'm good with that because my laptop I just use to monitor my stream so I don't need that to be a static Yeah, you Unless you have you multiple be... consoles, that's when you should think about having multiple static uh, ports open on the back of... Always have your ports set to open. Okay. It's just your console. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go... 
Go with the static, have your port set to open, that's going to cost extra. Both of those options, the static uh, IP and having the port set to open, those are going to cost extra. Um, you're probably only going to need one port set to static with it opened. And that, that makes a, a drastic difference as well. Damn, yeah, we got enough fucking bar of water here. <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me. I got 177 of those that need to be uh, made into regular drinking water. I, uh, I let's got, see. Am I missing anything? Went over static IP versus dynamic. Have it, have the port set to open. Uh, Going over the cable. Yeah, the cable. Uh, have your, if you can, opt out and have the wireless adapter turned off. If you get the right person in the company that'll turn that off for you, just go ahead and turn off the wireless adapter. You don't need wireless for jack shit. It's it's a fucking gimmick, just like fucking 3D TV. Yeah, 3D is for the IMAX theater. I mean, other than that, you, you can't afford to set up 3D. Uh, it's just as much as a gimmick as the latest fucking format for Blu-ray DVDs. I mean, you're getting a 0.02% jump in fidelity on the, the viewing spectrum, your eyes can't distinguish that fucking much. Your eyes can't see more than 10 megapixels. And that's the max that the human eye can perceive. And people want fucking thousands of thousands. Anything above 1080p, you do not need. 4K, 8K, that's, that's a fucking gimmick. Your eye cannot see that much. And I love how they're... The, they're talking about the new Xbox um, to be being what 8K to be able to yeah to be able to stream up to like 8K. I was like I was like really? Uh, it's a fucking <laughs> gimmick. Fucking kidding me. It's a useless bell and whistle that doesn't mean jack shit. Yeah, see, I got a 4K TV. You can buy another hard drive. You can buy a dedicated external hard drive. If they would stop putting useless DRM into games... It, yeah, if they would stop putting useless DRM into games and stop making it online only, they wouldn't have to worry about a lot of this shit. Because that's where all the size problem is going. It's going to the fucking DRM and all those goddamn 8K bullshit pictures they're cramming into the game. Which nobody can fucking see the difference between that and a 1080. And on top of that, I've noted the, the thing about planned obsolescence. There's this little chip they put into every fucking piece of hardware in America called the X-Chip. And basically, they flip a switch and it turns off your console or whatever hardware you've got going. And it doesn't do it all at once. It, it shuts it down piece at a time. Like, first thing to go, like, be a disc tray. Like on your console, the first thing that'll go is your disc tray. It'll start acting up, and, and it'll be like, what the fuck's going on here? Then it'll just stop working altogether. Then it just won't play discs. That's what happened to my PS3. Yeah, planned obsolescence. The disc tray, disc tray went out. Fucking pissed me off. And it doesn't help that it's made by the, the cheapest bidder. It doesn't help at all. It just makes it worse. Hell no. The fuck are the animals in this game? Uh, I keep getting the feeling there's something I forgot. Shit. 
Went over the cable. On what? Went over the oh, the mount, router modem gateway. Uh, the static and dynamic IPs. Uh, turning off the wireless. Um, once you get your static IP set up, they'll give you numbers. You'll write those down. Keep them stored somewhere uh, in the same place all the time. You'll plug that number into your console settings. Uh, network settings. Yeah, options, uh, settings, fucking network settings. Um, DNS, uh... Well, there's a there's another sub menu to go in before the DNS settings. I forgot what it is. Network settings, Network. and then you'll see from there it'll be obvious. And then you'll manually you'll yeah you'll go to s manual settings and you'll plug in all those numbers. And it's gonna take a while, but once you get it done, you, you make sure your company your ISP has your port set to open. Then bang. <laughs> um, <clears throat> ISP is Internet Service Provider. IP. No, 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 my ISP. Your IP is your Internet port that uh, the thing, the information goes to. Gateway is a particular Gateway. piece of hardware. Most people have the, the standard router modem combo. A uh, gateway inside that option menu means a specific um, port setting or something. I haven't researched exactly what that is, but it's a setting inside your uh, program that's inside your... your uh, your your ISP and your console. Ah, shit. The weather is making my pain flare up. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how um, I can't I can't figure out how to turn off um when I start up my console. It always takes me to that fucking what one guide or something like that. Yeah, they need to get rid of yeah, Xbox they, Assist. That's garbage. It's just utter and complete trash. <laughs> I don't remember what Gateway is, or even if I've researched that particular thing in the the uh, the IP programming. But I do know that it has something to do with uh, where the information goes and how it gets there. Or just where it goes. The basics for all those numbers you'll be plugging in is... This is your mailbox for your console and your internet service provider. If it's dynamic, it means it moves. If it moves, information can't get to it quickly enough, can it? If it's static, it means it stays in place and information is always going to get to it. That's the basic, uh, cheapest way to explain static and dynamic. Yeah. No, no. 
anybody still living with parents is definitely either A, not going to have a static IP, or B, they're not going to have fuck all for connectivity. They're going to have a fuck ton of uh, ping or latency because their parents are on the internet watching fucking cable. Which is the, the exact same as having yep. a dynamic IP. <laughs> it's just bullshit. That's why once I get my own place, I'm going, going to do that. Yeah, I'm 27, and I, well, I dude, still, uh, like, like there's shit, some shit, social um, and political stuff that you shit. need to, well, you, you might not need, but you might want to look into so that you understand just how fucked up this situation really is. No, it won't. They're already working on trying to make a vaccine or, you know, something to deal with it. But... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Did you hear about the couple that fucking overdosed on fucking, uh, fish tank cleaning chlorine, thinking it was chloroquine? <laughs> oh my god. People are drinking bleach, thinking it has chloroquine. I, I get how you can think that, because chlorine and chloroquine is just one syllable off from being the exact same thing, and chemically... They are the exact same thing. There's just one extra oh, don't molecule difference. don't tell me it's in the middle of the fucking lake again. Oh, God. The <sighs> supply drop is in the middle of the lake. So, anyway, chloroquine and chlorine, there's just one or two molecules yes, it difference is. there. And, yes, they are basic uh, carbon chains. And, yeah, th they have basic similar structure, but at the same time... Chlorine is used God as an extreme it. cleaning tool, and chloroquine, the medicine, isn't. Well, time to go to the bottom of the fucking lake to get this fucking There's supply There's a huge drop. difference between bleach, Clorox, and chloroquine. That one little molecule makes the whole world of difference. That one syllable in the word makes the whole world of difference. Anyway, on top of that, this virus has only delayed the World War III that was being threatened back in January. <clears throat> it's only delayed that, and it's, it's amping up the social, political, and emotional and psychological Come on, tension and pressure. Get to the I mean, if I, you look at how every every conspiracy theory YouTuber, and even some of the official YouTube channels that have like PhDs and shit, oh. who know what the fuck they're talking about, they're all pointing their finger at China and saying this is your fault, basically. And one of two things is going to happen. It's not. Either China's gonna fucking say, okay, enough of your American shit, fuck you, we're going to war, and every nation's gonna dogpile it because every nation literally hates America at an intimate level, or the American populace is gonna have a civil fucking war, and then the other nations are gonna dogpile on top of that. America has done itself no favors in its history. In being a fucking bitch to everyone, literally, even its own citizens. America has done itself no favors. Yeah, for damn much. 
and th there's there's a lot more to it than just that but i'll leave it at the those basics because you guys probably don't want or need to hear some of the the in-depth things and how fucked up it really is Mm. Aim I'm probably doesn't want to hear most of it. I'm I'm just <laughs> gonna leave it up to him. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. No worries, no worries. You mean with your internet stuff? With my, my internet. Well, you know, repetition okay. builds memory, so if you need to reiterate this, I'll I'll explain it again at least one more time. But the absolute bare bone minimums is static good, dynamic bad. <laughs> then that's the introduction to the college course that I run <laughs> in my imagination for telling people about internet. The 101 of course is yeah, get your fucking numbers, write them down, and then plug them into the options menu on your console. <laughs> Have your port set to open, turn off the fucking wireless, don't let anyone else on it. And if you're running mommy and daddy's internet, uh, you're fucked. Hey, I right, know I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just, that's well, the baseline. Once I get my own that's place, just the baseline. I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna have that kind of shit. Yeah, you're not gonna get your own kind so of place. I'm gonna be honest with you. Between everything going on now and what's going to happen later, you're not gonna get your own place. And, you know, three years ago, when I got into this trailer park I'm in, I told my mom, yeah, look, you're not gonna find another place. I can see what's going to happen in the future. You know, you, you think it's time, but to me it's not. I can see what's gonna happen. You're not gonna find another place. We're not getting out of this situation we're in. That was three and four years ago I told her that. And she wasted two years looking for another place for me to be. Then I told them, start stockpiling shit that we're going to need, like food and stuff. I told them that, like, fucking two years ago. Start stockpiling these items. We're going to need that. They didn't fucking listen. I knew this this whole coronavirus bullshit was going to be a thing years in advance. I mean, just look at history. Every 100 years, like clockwork, there's a massive fucking plague that wipes out bits of humanity. It's just history. It repeats itself. That's all you have to do is look to the past and you'll know what the future is. Nothing's new. Nothing's changed. Nothing is novel. Everything that has happened will happen again. There's nothing that I'm saying that's unique. This isn't the first time that it's been said. Millions upon millions of humans in human history alone have said these exact same words in this exact same context that I'm saying it now. So all these, all these idiots, like one YouTuber, uh, Silver and Gold with Mike Maloney, he thinks, you know, money is a fucking thing, or currency, or money. It, it's just a fucking fallacy. Your monkey brain thinks that, oh, this rock is shiny, so it must be valuable. And you humans assigned value to a rock you dug out of the ground. Gold, silver, diamonds, doesn't matter. It's just a fucking mineral or a rock you dug out of the ground. It has no real value. It's a fallacy that you think it does have value. And yeah, 
gold and silver in the stock market may be on the rise right now, but that's gonna see its fucking tank day soon enough. It's gonna Hindenburg, just like the Hindenburg. Yeah, but that, there you go, man. Uh, You're static, you're dynamic, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're Cat 7E with the gold-plated connector, you're like $20 for a 7-foot long one. Try to stay under a 10-foot cable. Anything above so many feet or meters, you will need a powered inline coupler. Good. That's good. That is very good. Get the smallest cable you can find since your console and your, your system is right next to your uh, internet thing. Uh, some stuff you, you'll notice, it'll take uh, a couple of minutes after you plug it in and get the numbers punched in. Uh, you'll notice, uh, like, It'll look better. Like, for, for the first instance of uh, getting online and signing in, it'll look better. Just by default, it'll look better. Because your console is receiving the information quicker, and it's able to get uh, the graphics information to your TV faster. It'll just look better. Then you'll adapt to that. Where the fuck did that deer go? We're on seven days to die. We're waiting for um, we're waiting for DE work from home session to put out some patches that fixes a few things actually, because I've gotten bored of Scarlet Butthurt. because it is it's a grind a slog fest. Now we're we're playing good old seven days to die and bitching about it. <laughs> yeah, we're bitching about every game we play because developers have their heads up their ass. They they all fail to realize gaming is the unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. And I'm, yeah, that's a fucking excerpt from the Declaration of Independence, but that's that's pandemic to everyone, every culture. That that right is everyone, every species rights. It's, it transcends humanity in America. It's omniversal. And if these developers in other countries can't fucking make a game properly, they don't deserve to fucking exist. The fuck did that much. deer go? It went down the hill and disappeared. <laughs> This is a common occurrence for me in this game to track an animal and then suddenly lose it and it's just gone permanently. It's a common occurrence for me. There's no dynamic visual difference between, like, the environment and the animals. They're all whitewashed the same. There needs to be a little bit more pop between the visuals for the animals and the environment. Like, they need to push grass aside as they move through it, so it's easy to spot them. It's right now, I'm just fucking lost. True. Anyway, Aim, yeah, if you hadn't already left the party, you have fun uh, getting your stuff set up. Set aside like two hundred dollars a month for your internet alone, and like twenty dollars to order that item, uh, the cable, and uh... oh fuck yeah! 
Hopefully it's not used. Fuck yeah. Oh, cool. Well, um... My internet is actually cheaper than my power bill. <laughs> Just... And I set $200 aside each month for my power bill alone. <laughs> uh, that, that's going to be a while, isn't it? Do take care. Thanks. You oh, we will. Till we get pissed off at this fucking game and and shit. <laughs> Ooh, a house. Maybe if I wait here long enough, another deer will spawn in close by, and I can go and lose it too. <laughs> well. We only got one chest upstairs now. Everything's moved downstairs. Yeah, it, as far as putting stuff in chests downstairs, either start at the top or start at the bottom. At the top left or top right or bottom left or bottom right. Yeah, pick one of those, but not in the middle. Yeah, I, I um... It'll I be kinda... easier... If you just go top left. I made some stuff. It's kind of a psychological default with most people. Yeah, I just need to start making signs and shit like that. Make some signs and be able to fucking... Make a room for every individual item and it has like a thousand chests. <laughs> no, I could put the, I could put the si signs on the chest I'm um, saying like... Like I got, I got all the gun parts and in individual chests and stuff like that. Like ones for snipers, ones for hunting rifle, one for like that kind of stuff, you know. Mhm. Mm Are you using and like we... that sniping rifle I found that was just pre-built? No, I, I, I haven't, I haven't used it. We don't got enough. I, I think we don't we don't have enough rounds to even fucking compare to try to even use it. Cause all we have uh, is 44 um, sniper I rounds. I found a uh, forge. Ooh. Um, I could actually pick it up, but we got three forges as it is. So I mean, yeah, we we we're don't kinda, need another right now. Maybe later, when we get into some serious, like, massive crafting. Fucking, massive fucking, um, steel crafting and, and shit like that. Yeah, like, when we're building up to actually, you know, start working with zombos. Because I'm, like, massively, um, we're running out of fucking iron. Um, iron fucking quick. Oh. And like, where oh. we have like the challenges, I put the schematics up in, in there. Like, you know where the, like, the material shit's at? Right next mm -hmm. to the, um, to the health um, crates by the workbench. Underneath that is um, where I'm putting the schematics, and underneath the schematics, I was going to put like the treasure maps and, or yeah, the schematics and like the fucking challenges or whatever. Now, I'm trying to get all the, um, like the forge stuff, and I'm going to put it back by the forge, um, the top supply box up there. Or, I make like, divers items. Do you need that? 
guy. Yeah, I don't have. A, I haven't done anything like that. I think that's. Is that the? That's the iron. Or not the iron. The um. Fucking what? What you would call it? Like Mad Max style. That fucking armor. I, I don't know. Um, scrap scrap metal. The scrap metal um armor or whatever. Whatever the fuck it's called. Actually. Damn dude. How much cotton are you all fucking playing over here? A uh, good bit. You said you could sell it. Oh, you gotta use yeah, the restroom, I'll be back. Sell the fucking um cloth fragments. Which I can actually go sell some shit. See if I can actually make crossbow. What do I do? Crossbow. A leather? Oh, I need... No, got no... Oh, yeah. Got... Blue... Pew... Hey, damn it. Slab of wood. Got that fucking Animal Crossing's uh, Doom Eternal song stuck in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> like Isabel running through hell, slaughtering everything. Yep, that's stuck in my head right now. Um, I'm I made you a crossbow. Cool. And right now I'm making some iron arrowheads, um, so I can make some crossbow bolts. The crossbow is, um, 305, or 304. 
And you got, and you got some farming to do. Some of your shit's done over here. There's the elusive deer. Watch as I lose fucking track of his ass. As he goes <laughs> bounding through grass that doesn't move when he touches it. Yeah, crouching, crouching in this game doesn't fucking make it to where they fucking don't notice you. The stealth mechanics don't exist in this game. Hello, developer. Fun pimps, get your fucking ass over here and fix this shit. See, right here. He wasn't Damn looking right. at me, and he goes bounding away. <laughs> and as soon as you fucking pull out your bow or anything, they start moving back and forth like they know where the fuck you are and what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I fucking... I hate fucking trying to fucking kill deer and shit like that. Pigs are a lot fucking easier. Yeah, they fucking are. Rabbits, the rabbits, you got, you got to fucking really use a shotgun to just blast their fucking ass. Um, so, same like fucking chickens. Unless, you, unless you're like in the desert and you can actually see the chicken before you fucking get right up on top of it. The stealth mechanics that they hint at being in this game with Crouch having you undetected. Yeah, that's a fallacy. That, that, there's no stealth mechanics. Shit detects you no matter what. <clears throat> Pretty damn much. You know why this game hasn't gone anywhere near close to what people call mainstream? It's because the mechanics suck dick. Yes, that's about right. Rotting meat. Do we need rotting meat for anything right now? Um, rotting meat? If, um, I had a cement mixer, I can make fertilizer with rotted meat, but since we got the chem station, um, okay, All fertilizer. Is, um, yeah, I'm the... gonna save it just for the fertilizer later on when you actually get a cement mixer. Oh, like another deer. I do, I... Another deer. The um, the best way to make fertilizer is the chem station. Oh, look, a rabbit that spotted me while I'm crouched, and it says I'm undetected. <laughs> because the chem station uses less nitrate powder, and it uses a human turd, one human turd. And three dirt fragments. And I think fertilizer in the cement mixer uses, don't quote me on this, uses, um, I think thir 30 dirt fragments and I think 20 nitrate powder. So it's a lot more efficient to make it through the chem station than through the cement mixer. Wasn't this magical? My bow and arrow broke. Oh shit. Look, dear, just fucking die. So I can have food, okay? Yeah, I think I'm getting pretty hungry over here. Do we even have any bacon and eggs at the house? Like we should? Oh, there's two deer that I'm close to. Oh, wow, watch me lose one permanently. <laughs> Uh, now it's time to actually build the drop hole. How deep are we making the drop hole? I don't know. Deep enough to fucking kill him, I guess. Oh, we want to kill the, zo the zombies too. Like, we don't want the zombies to just 
constantly die when, when dropping into the hole. Because I could put spikes up in the in the in their hole or whatever, and and we we could we could kill them like that. Okay. Uh, go for whatever else, yeah. Sounds good. I'll just build the drop pit right off the off the the forge room or whatever, whatever you want to fucking call it. Listen, fuckface, stop going back and forth. Need this fucking raw iron. That's what we need, so we can make these fucking um, tools and shit like that better. He's just gonna have to get lucky, and he'll get stuck on a rock or something, or stop and eat for no fucking raisins. Gotta stop and eat to um, bring up its um its health. Now we don't need. Or are you still gonna? You still gonna use the um the regular bow, or are you gonna just use the um crossbow? I don't know. Right now, I'm too focused on trying to fucking put arrows into this deer's ass. <laughs> Too bad you can't grab the arrows. Yeah. That's that's a real fucking shame right there. Cuz I mean to be honest, um you can't pick up a fucking random fucking bullet on one shot, but you can fucking pick up a fucking arrow that you shoot into the fucking tree or something like that. No, 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 no. No, with the bullet, you can actually pick up the the cartridge, the casing. You can pick up the lead, like, if you're lucky enough, like, if you're skilled enough to go and carve it out of whatever you shot. You can pick up the, the, the round. You can, you can recycle it. Well, you can melt yeah, it I down and reforge it. Like, if that were implemented in games, can you imagine how many people would actually do that and save bullets? Well, I have no I fucking mean, idea where I am. It's a fucking survival game too, so I mean, like, you're gonna. Yeah, be your survival that depends kind of on your efficiency and your ability to recycle. Like, like making the meat stew. You're not gonna fucking th throw the fucking glass jar up in it. Fucking exactly. Crush it shit like that. You're gonna get your glass jar back, so you can reuse it. And why the fuck is yeah. it in this game where you lose the glass jar when you make something? What the fuck? Like yeah, fun see, like things, fix your glue fucking and game. Stuff like that. It takes um, one bottle of murky water and it don't give you your jar back for making glue. Yeah, I would rather fucking loot glue than make it. Even but though the, we can the, find the sand and stuff, the bones, even though we can loot the jars. Only thing that, yeah, but the only thing that um, the bones are good for is the bone sh shiv or... And glue. <laughs> yeah, or, or making glue. You know, let's do a test and see if they've actually put up an update that fixes that fucking problem. Um, well, I could do it right now. Um, 
Yeah, see we if we get the glass unless, jar unless back. You, unless you took um, all the bottle murky water. Nope, we got 11. So, oh, um, where's, where did I stick the bones? Should be in this chest right here. We got 17 bones. Okay. Yeah, Come just, on, just use station. one uh, recipe's worth. Just in case we lose it, I'd rather lose just one recipe's worth. Yeah, I'm just grabbing the stack. Oh, it takes eight minutes, so one piece of wood. Eight minutes to make some clue? Well, Sounds not eight about minutes, right. eight seconds. Oh, eight seconds. I once made yeah. glue overnight. It stuck a glass bottle to a laminated table. Um, nope. We 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 don't get the it. bottle back. Um, do we lose the bottle or glass keep it? Um, here, look, I got four glass jars. I didn't. I was. I didn't know I had glass jars on me. I'll do one more. Just you've contaminated just the test sample. Um, nope. I only have, I still have, only have four glass jars. I found a cave. Okay, so we still lose the fucking glass jar. I mean, this is after the yep. update that adds cobwebs. That just shows just how fucking dead this game really is. It has fucking cobwebs added to it before it has quality of life fixes. Fucking god damn, get your shit together. We're losing Fix your fucking um, broke ass game. We're losing j jars of water. I would rather not lose make... anything, to be honest. And a glass make, jar, um... it isn't part of the recipe. Like, we're not grinding it up into the fucking recipe, so why the fuck do we lose it? Yeah, don't ask me. Dude, we got enough there's, there's no equivalent exchange going here. on here. There's, there's, even in, in the, the fucking rules of alchemy, there's no equivalent exchange going on here. That glass isn't becoming part of the recipe. And the funny part is, is we don't lose it when we make, um, when we make, um, fucking, like, the red tea and the fucking... Other shit. Yeah, we don't eat the fucking glass jar when we drink the tea. Like, we, we, we get we get that back, but fucking, we, we don't get, um... You, what I just said fucking... reminds me of a YouTube channel, Viva La Dirt League. Have you seen any of their videos? I might have seen a couple. Okay. Potions. Viva La Dirt League. Yeah, you know, it's when you can find that one and watch it. He just eats the whole fucking glass bottle. <laughs> I'm like, what the God fuck? Damn. That's pretty much how games like that used to work. No logic at all. It's just y your potion comes in a glass bottle. You eat the glass bottle. Oh look, there's another deer. It'd be nice if your archery skill increased to where it showed you the drop water. and everything. Dude, that's fucking crazy. We got 390 glass bottles of water. Yeah, that seems about nice for a start. And the worst part about it is we got more water than fucking food. <laughs> yeah, that is the absolute worst part. Shit, we're we're trying to survive off fucking just water.
I have no idea if these arrows are even hitting the fucker. You do got, got you do have a um dr drop them down on the, I know on the, that. I'm well aware of that. It would be nice if once you get your archery skill up, it gave you a reticule that showed you the drop and the distance and everything, so that you could plan out your shots. Once you get your archery to a certain skill level, it'd be nice if you just had that bit that by default after that. That would come in handy. Think of it in terms of realism. Realistically, you're going to mentally map out where your shots are going. That's why I wish they'd bring in the compound bow. That fucking PC has. Yeah, if they would update this fucking console version at all, that would be nice. But Fun Pimps turned it over to fucking uh, Telltale Games, and Telltale doesn't give a shit about it. Nope. Because they'll put in a fucking just, joke of a cobweb perfect. before a fucking quality of life update. Fuck off, Telltale. Fuck off, Fun Pimps. Get your shit together. Well, Fun Pimp has their shit together, but they just fucking gave away the fucking game to a fucking. That company means that's they don't have their shit together. I mean, when you yeah, but... when you give a copy to another company and say fuck it, who cares? That means you just you lost your fucking shit. Well, they lost their shit for the consoles, but they didn't lose their shit for the fucking PC. They fucking kept it for the fucking PC. And they fucking said, fuck everybody on console. There we go, I killed the fucker. Which is fucking complete fucking bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that, that move is a PR nightmare. When you... When you shift a copy of your game to another company and you stop having anything to do with it, that's a PR nightmare. That's like telling the players, fuck you, I don't care. Pretty damn much. That's like when uh, fucking uh, horse armor was added to Skyrim. That was a big fucking middle finger. Ooh. Yeah, which was kind of weird, actually. Uh, it was kind of weird when they added that shit to it. <laughs> or it was like when the entire gaming industry actually listened to Torl Fjernstrom. That was a big fuck you. Or when EA fucking patented a stress event to make the player buy more microtransactions. That was a big fuck you. Dude, I got 25 skill points. You don't want your fucking... Uh, game being lumped into the rest of this shit? Distinguish yourself. I need one more level up and I could buy concrete mix and so I could start making concrete. Holy shit, yeah. Fucking concrete. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my points um, till I level up to buy concrete. Because we, we need concrete fucking quick. Because once we tur turn fucking zombies on, we're gonna have to have fucking our shit together. Because the zombies are gonna be fucking strong as fuck. What, they get stronger as the days progress? Yeah. yeah. Do they ever cap off? Um, no. Okay, well, that means that eventually we'll turn the zombies off and just be like, fuck that. Just well, we we gotta get our zombies zombie ki kills first, then we can turn turn it off and just say fuck it and make it kind of kind of more of a creative world, but without the fucking without, without creative the mode turned on. Yeah, then then we could just, then we could turn on friendly fire and fucking kill each other for the the um players killed achievements. I'm not even gonna bother with that shit. PvP achievements aren't real achievements. I'm not even yeah, gonna bother with it it. it. it maxes out the the game or whatever. It gives you like the platinum fucking trophy or whatever. 
I really couldn't be bothered to give a fuck about the achievement list and the trophies and shit. Ow. Like, I play the games to have fucking fun playing the games. Not to fucking achievement hunt. I threw achievement hunting out the window shortly after achievements were a thing. Like, I used to achievement hunt, but then I realized... Or if we could get when the seriously 1.0 on achievement, you, when I looked at the seriously 1.0 achievement for Gears of War One, I was like, "Fuck achievements." <laughs> but like, if we could get like a couple more um, friends to play it, fucking, we could we could have like a fucking war between all of us. Like, yeah, who just has, for the like, fuck's sake the... fun of it? Yeah, for, for like seeing who, who who progressed and... Well, we're gonna fucking be, be fucking way above them. Because, I mean, it's gonna be fucking... Then, like, we could, we could turn on zombies and fucking see whose fucking base will actually hold up. Yeah, because the zombies have infinite fucking progression. Thanks for letting me know that. And the player doesn't. Well, so the the just... hordes get harder. The um, the well, I, I haven't been past a certain level on the character yet. But I've ah. been up to day um, day seventy, and like from day seven horde to day seventy horde, it, it's a fucking real fuck fest. Like, dude, like, if you got got it where, um, the days don't go by quickly, they do, do the hour, hour and a half of, um, or, I think it's two hours, because I think it's 120. Every two hours that the d days, um, change and shit like that. Dude, you fucking constantly have fucking... Zombie after zombie until you get to where um it gets to like I think two or three a.m. in the morning and um the the zombies start kind of thinning out. Mm. But like e each each day you get higher, you get more pharaohs, you get more cops, you get. You get just more of that that stuff, more spiders. Then like your your heat goes fucking skyrocketing, and you get fucking shit ton of screamers and shit like that. That shit needs to cap. That shit needs to fucking cap. It shouldn't infinitely progress like that. Uh, while this is cooking, I'll be back.
So if you people are watching, you want to come face me and Katana. We're ready for you. We'll murder all of you. Shite. You ever heard of. I was talking uh, to the people on the stream saying if they want them faces, we'll, we'll, we'll take them all on. But you fucking will. I said no such thing of the sort. <laughs> Fuck you. You go and I'll do build it. A fucking, I'll build a fucking uh, sniper tower. <laughs> you have fun with that. And I'll just, I'll just watch. fucking make a shit ton of fucking snipers. And I'll just, I'll, I'll just shoot you once in a while, just, just, just for watching. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm not gonna get shot. Nah, this is a PVE server. Man, PVP is, is complete shit. It just really is. Yeah. Fucking, I hate fucking the reason why that is is because the whole human species collectively is not psychologically and emotionally mature enough for PvP. And pretty much on this, like I, I hate joining in to random people's fucking multiplayer, and you, you're just you're just starting to get your fucking base up and going, and, and then they, they raid you. Yeah, they come raid you, fucking kill you, and steal all your fucking shit, and you go, you walk back in, and you're like, what the fuck? I mean, if that's what they wanted to do, go play fucking Rust, okay? If you just want to raid people, go fucking play Rust. Get the fuck off of this game. Yeah, pretty much. This is a game to socialize and fucking actually see what everybody could actually fucking do. Okay, we now have 12 bacon and eggs each. <laughs> and I'm getting, I got about 1200 um, raw iron. Cause that's the cap for the raw, raw iron um, cap for the, like the one or whatever. To have it in the uh, thing. All these storage containers are locked. You forgot to unlock a lot of them. Oh god damn it! I keep on forgetting. My bad. Yeah, I'll yeah. Back. Now let me finish up this fucking rock. I gotta come back and throw this raw iron up into the forge anyway, so we could get get raw iron going into them. The the two the middle one is for br brass and um lead and the two outer ones are going to be for like the rest of the fucking random shit that we we have for like for making the iron and steel and shit like that and the concrete which ones are locked. I'm gonna have to go and... Uh, this is a new wall that I put in. Okay, this line of supply hammer symbol, this, this whole line right next to the gun supply is locked. All these guns, uh, supplies, they're locked right here in this corner. I don't think I got anything up in these, except for the guns. I kind of wish I'd fucking do it where it's always un unlocked when you're playing with the fucking friend and shit like that.
<laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Come on, fucking handy. All right, I, I found some more clothes that you might be able to sell. <laughs> a fucking BDU top. Nice. Okay, <clears throat> that McDiver... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, right next to those four kill the wabbit challenges. Uh. -huh. You keep selling those painkillers, don't you? Damn right. <laughs> what we even need them for? <laughs> I'm the painkillers are actually, um, actually pretty fucking bad to actually use. Like, how bad are they to use? Um, hydration minus forty one point seven percent. Oh my god. Fuck painkillers. Just that's on why, hearing that's that why, alone. Fuck painkillers. That that's why I sell the shit. Because it, it's it's a fucking joke. That's all it is. Yeah. Minus forty one fucking percent. Fuck painkillers, that's a joke. You're exactly right. It's a goddamn joke. Where do you want me to put these pistol parts I found? Um, there's a pistol chest. I forget which which one it is, but the, there's, there's a um, sniper and rifle chest. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this pistol chest is locked up here. Actually, not pistol. Uh, this this top left on the uh, thingy right there on that wall. Oh my the goodness! Gun symbol. Okay, this should be unlocked now. I think that's a hunting rifle. Fucking hate pistol. That shit. There we go. We got two pistols and um, some more pistol parts. Yeah, this is the scrap, scrap stuff. Um, do you know these two schematics down here? Which are they? Um, the iron arm and iron leg. I don't know. Let's just save schematics and then we'll divvy them out later. It's too difficult to well, keep track of this shit right now. <laughs> I was go. I was gonna s sell them to the um to the trader. Oh well, in that case, uh, why not? If I have already used them, it's not gonna let me use them again, is it? Well, you can use them again to boost up your um your stuff. But um, I was just thinking for the um. Okay, I'll go ahead um, and use ducks. these. So I get the uh, benefit of them. Well, you don't get the XP fr from it. You, it just raises the the amount or whatever. I, okay, I I've think got I'm leg a... and uh, uh, gloves armor unlocked, and it increased my smithing to level six. Where does the um, where's the smithing box for like uh, lead and iron and uh, stuff like that. Um, that's gonna be over. You can use any of the s s the hammer boxes next to the forges. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top right, and I'm gonna start with the raw iron. Throw that in there. Throw the lead. There goes that train again. Yeah. Yeah. Living next to train tracks. It isn't fucking worth this, you know? 
it isn't worth what I'm paying. Dude, guess what my um health is capped out at right now? 150? No, not yet. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay. 122. Nice. Right, top uh, left is starting with canned foods. I'm gonna start bringing those down. Later, we're gonna bring the. Uh... Yeah, I got a um, I got a built get get a place um built for like our fire pit and shit like that. I'm gonna yep, put like a cooking. couple fire pits up in there, so we could make massive amounts of. Fucking shit. Oh, sir. I got some painkillers to sell here. Potato seed, yeah, those are getting planted real soon. Uh, you're gonna have to come get this grain alcohol out of here and move it. Well, not have to, but. Yeah, I might want to move that grain alcohol to wherever you've got it, because I don't know what you're using it for and what it's good to be oh. used for. Oh, um, it's medical. Oh, okay. Well, it's you know what? May, I'll bring it down. No worries. First aid kits, I think. First aid kits. Um, yeah, we we don't it's... need first aid kits right now, but you know we can we can save some grain <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think we need, need more, um, more fucking, um, what should we call it? More, more first aid kits. Yeah, we also need more painkillers. <laughs> We're painfully low on those. <laughs> I just sold like fucking 31 of them. Okay, uh, let's see. Lamb rations, uh -huh. canned, canned cat food. Okay, that's going way down at the bottom. Can of miso, <laughs> yeah, that'll go right there. Can of chicken soup, that'll go right there. Can of pasta, that'll go right there. Can of pears, that'll go right there. And this can of cat food is way at the bottom because oh, that's emergency. Oh that. fuck, we need something now, food. Okay. Find that schematic. And in this middle, um, food box. I'm just gonna put all of our water. Sounds good to me. Dude, we got shit to the fucking water. Fucking ridiculous amount. Um, is my ducks back there? We got any ducks up back here? There? No, not up here. I don't know where they are. That can get turned off. Somebody, uh, fucking somebody's gonna be like, what the fuck, dude? That's a lot of water. And and I'm like, nah, that's, that's like baseline. It's good for, you know, a couple of days line of water. That's not a lot. Eggs. Not to me. Um, what are we using the animal fat for? Tallow for candles. Why don't we need candles? Heat generation, light production. We got emergency. Lights down oh here. fuck! We need to we need to turn out the lights because they generate heat and use candles instead. Oh. Damn it! I wanted to sell the candles. Or well, see if I can sell them. <laughs> well, after we have enough candles on the walls, maybe. Oh, then. we got two painkillers. Dude, we got fucking eleven fucking candles up in there. We need more dirt. There's a stone down there. Dude, I got I got a stack of fucking six thousand stone. Nice. Just just really, really nice. Guess we don't 
that's where the Time fuck to sell more prime parts, isn't it? <laughs> um, the only bad part about it is I sold every, everything that I, I can sell. I mean, I brought in some clothing yeah. items. Yeah, I sold them. That fast? Yeah. Um, by the workbench, the bottom hammer supply is going to be for, like, um, or like, um, the blocks and stuff like that. Um, did you pick up your crossbow? No, you did not. No. No. I'm still, uh, I'm still working on the farm right at this moment. Damn crossbow! Bow and the crossbow ammo's in the in the um the fucking arrow box, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And use up these three steel arrows. Cause I can't sell. Um, I only like sell arrows and. Mm, we'll just you know, save those and, and we'll either find or make a couple more and sell them in a bundle. That right, sounds good. Man, I need some more fucking ducats. Wrong game, my friend. Eh, I'm gonna call them ducats because it's fucking... I still try to bullet jump in this. <laughs> yeah, I, you do. Guess what? You learned how to bullet jump? No, I haven't learned how to bullet jump in this game. Um, I finished um, Octavia's an Anthem. Oh. How was the music section? Which one? The final one. What are you... Uh, dude. <laughs> I kept on fucking bullet jumping off the fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> you bullet jumped out of the map on that one? <laughs> yeah, you like, double. I kept on... I kept on fucking bullet jumping way too far, and I'm like, like fuck! God damn it! <laughs> and, like, the Sentinels, they're easy to fucking kill with the Ignis Wraith. Oh yeah, because they're they're kind of almost like just one shot. I went in with um Wu Kong though. <laughs> because um, I was doing the the music and stuff like that, doing the the stuff. So I was running with Wu Kong for his um his his um his ability. For the to make another player. Ah, okay. Celestial twin. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, so. Um. So the I I didn't I didn't use his um his second player to do the do the final thing. You motherfucker! That better not be in the fucking water. Fucking ki kill you, airplane. Too bad we can't fucking shoot that airplane out the fucking sky. Why would we want to do that? So we can steal all the supply crates on it. Then we'd never get another supply drop. <laughs> no, they'll they're just send, send another airplane out. Fuck them assholes! They, they, they don't they they done shot one plane out, so we're not fucking giving them anything anything else. What the hell's with the stone building over here? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a house. Just there, and fucking render in. Oh, is this the house that you fucking been raiding?
Like, waiting every five days to raid it and shit like that? Oh, yeah, that, that seems about right. Uh, a lot of stamina. Ah, uh, motherfucker, you better not drop it in the fucking middle of the lake again. I'm getting tired of that shit. And it looks like it's in the middle of the fucking lake. Ah, uh, fucking asshole. <laughs> Why can't we shoot the airplane out, please? Something the tells me dropping. that they'll they'll make it to where the airplane can take damage and die long before they make it to where they stop dropping shit in the middle of the fucking lake. <laughs> like, we wouldn't be able to actually swim to the bottom of the fucking lake and crack that motherfucker open before we're out of breath. If it... Oh, there we go. And I'm in the middle of the fucking water. And it fucking kicked us. It kicked oh, you out of the thing already? Yep. yep. No, come on, game. Come the fuck on. Fucking fix that shit. Tired of fucking getting kicked out of the fucking game. Yeah, and yeah. and he's the fucking host of the damn thing. Why is it kicking the host? Come the fuck on. Yeah, it, it, it I can see other players, yes, but the fucking host? That shit is fucking um that that's fucking wrong. I just fucking bought this game fucking couple days ago. And I never had this fucking problem playing with people on PlayStation. Ah, hey, you might. <clears throat> with the situation as it is right now, you might. I guess so. They they probably just fucking finally did it where they're going. Oh yeah, what let's k kick them fr from the fucking get game. Oh fucking, that's why people don't want to play the fucking game. No, uh, there's, there's some, um, there's actual fucking things that make it to where people don't want to play this game. For um, instance, you have to re-level a character from zero if you join a new lobby. Really? Yeah, if you go from like... Every map you create, last time I checked, you had to start from level zero all over again. Um, that's fucking bullshit. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things that's killing this game. Ah, uh, of course, now it's not going to show me the fucking supply drop. So I'm gonna be in this fucking water randomly trying to fucking f find the fucking orange smoke. Hmm. Well, this is loading in. I'll be back. Sounds good.
gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, Joy, did it shut you out again? Because it kicked me. No, what it did is it fucking froze. Oh. Okay. okay. I completely fucking froze my fucking game. Do you have it, stuff running in the background? Um, not like that I know. Other games that you haven't closed completely. Or um, even before I before. ask about that, do you know how to close a game out completely? Yeah, you click okay. the start button and hit quit. Okay. And, and I, don't, uh, I don't have nothing running in the fucking background. Okay, the way they've got the console going, the BIOS, it's it's complete garbage, the way they've got it going. They've got it set to where if you have something running, it's going to fuck you over in something else. And they've got it set up to where it doesn't like to recognize that you've shut something off for a good ten fucking hours. Because I, I closed that down Warframe once I got done playing Warframe. Damn it. Okay, um, how often do you or your folks turn off your router, modem, or gateway and let it fucking rest? I knew um, I forgot to tell AIM something. When you're done using your router, modem, or gateway, turn it the fuck off and let it fucking rest. Um, it will overheat, and it doesn't have a fan. On you, um, I got a fan underneath it. it, it even I, so, you're still going to have to turn it off from time to time and let it rest. Like, when I'm done playing um, for the day, I unplug all I my stuff. I can't do and any it's of turned that, off. that. Your folks don't Sweet. do that? Well, no, the, the router's in my room. Room. And, um, I can't do it because we got the Wi Fi and shit like that. Wi Fi is super easy to hack. All you need is an omnidirectional multi band transceiver, and you're good to go. You don't even need the hardware or the software for hacking. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you need to get rid of that Wi-Fi shit. Like, if if your well, folks are using the Wi-Fi on their phones and shit, you need to cut that shit the fuck out. Well, see, they don't got, um... 
They don't got um unlimited data on their phone. Who the fuck cares about unlimited data? A phone is for making well, phone calls, not surfing the goddamn web. They, they use it to surf the web. Well, they're because... fucking idiots. Just because your service provider on your cell phone company provides the service for you to surf the web on your phone doesn't mean you need to fucking harp on it like an idiot. Well, and plus, um, we use the Wi-Fi for the, um, for our, for the, the TV. Because uh, my mom has, my mom has direct TV. Oh, God. That's why I can't wait to get my own place. Yeah, get a get a hardline cable connection. Like with well, a see, the bad company. Part, the bar, the hard hard part about it is can't get get the um hardline cable for like cable TV. But see, I I don't use cable TV. I I use Netflix, Funimation, and um I got Disney Plus. Yeah, you don't even need cable TV. You just need a basic cable hard line for your internet. But you don't even that, need the cable package or a bundle. You just need the internet package. That That's it. Well, see, I got Google Fiber, and, and that, that I just go through with them for internet. <laughs> that leads me to ask questions. With Google Fiber, is it better or worse doing Google's proprietary fucking streaming service? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't stream. No, the their their game streaming service that they fucking tried to make. Oh, uh, you remember oh, that one, remember. right? Uh. I probably do, but I probably fucking forget it. Because I forget a lot of fucking shit. <laughs> uh, what, what was it called? Google something or another. I know they try, try to... They have like a phone company or something like that. Where you, where you could, um... Like, phone service. I think I forget yeah, what it's called. Yeah, they're fucking hard. Well, they're tr trying to get get to where people go to that shit instead of fucking going with like Verizon or fucking T-Mobile or anything like that. I've had T-Mobile for fucking years, like years and years. See, the only I time I ever had prepaid. problems with T-Mobile is. When I took my Alabama number all the way to fucking Oklahoma, and I <clears throat> I bounced off of a cell tower, and another guy received a phone call at the same time, and we both had the same number, only different area codes. That's the only time I ever had a problem with T-Mobile. And I had to make the problem myself. See, I got, um, Verizon prepaid. Yeah, I've still so got like, T-Mobile prepaid. Yeah, see, I, um, Verizon works very well in my area. T-Mobile somewhat works. AT&T, like, half-ass fucking works. Then, um, what is it? Um, what's the other company? Sprint. Oh, um, yeah. Sprint. Their fucking, map coverage area, where they, uh, where they're competing Sprint in your area with shit. each other. Yeah. Basically, yeah, see, they um, make an illegal agreement where they say, okay, you're going to take this area, I'm going to take that area, and everyone else who doesn't like it can just, you know, suck a dick. King of the see, Hill covered be, that with an episode. Before, Very like, efficiently. I got Google Fiber for the internet and stuff, I had to wait, like, fucking six months or something like that. Or, well, it's supposed to be, like, six-month month wait, 
because they are just starting to come out with Google Fiber and shit like that. And um, well, my mom, well, we had Time Warner at the time, and they're the fucking fastest internet they they could give us. Because see, my mo mom d don't know much about like the internet speed or anything like that was, I think, 200 um, megabits per second. 200 megabits, yeah, that's the download speed they're quoting. You don't need anything over 100 download. Not for and, gaming. When it comes to gaming, well, you need upload. And on top of that, well, the, you the need a static IP. The upload was fucking shit. Like, the upload, well, I think what, I was... was it 5? Yeah, I, well, no, I think it was like fucking... 10 megabits Ten per second. Decent. 10 is decent. See, my... The Google Fiber, I get... I get more upload, um... Speed. Like, my upload speed's a lot faster th than, um... When we had Time Warner. Yeah, but is it on a, a static IP? Well, no, I don't got static IP. I mean, exactly. if... Once, exactly. If you'd if stuck with Time Warner IP. and just switched to a static IP, you'd be fucking fine. Well, I could probably I could get a static IP with um Google Fiber. But um I I didn't know anything about that kind of stuff because I never really checked into it. Basic rule of thumb with anything in life in general. If you want to if you want something to be better, do your research first. Before anything. Before you think about thinking about acting, research the topic matter at hand first. Well, at the time um my my mom needed internet and she wanted faster internet, so she when we switched to direct T V um, she got AT and T, and you want to know their their um download speed f for in my area? Like, take a while get, guess on um the highest that that um for the download speed we had. What a uh, hundred? No. What? Five. Five megabits a second download? Yes. The fuck? Where do you guys live? Out in the woods? No, we, we live in Kansas City. Kansas City! Major fucking city with that low download? Are you out of... Are the companies out of their fucking minds? Yeah, yeah because um, AT&T cell tower is a couple or like I forget how how many miles away from the area that we're in that's why like AT&T somewhat works over here but somewhat don't okay that's wireless wireless is shit dude just straight up no, right off the bat wireless that was, is shit that was wired because I wired my laptop into it and did a fucking test run on it and I had five five megabits per second. On are you wire. connecting straight to a cable that goes out onto a, a telephone pole, or are you connecting to a satellite dish that goes to a cell tower? Um. Well, we we ha had it straight to the cable, or to the telephone pole, but fucking they they didn't have fucking shit for this area. <laughs> Why the fuck didn't they have service in a major goddamn city? They're off their fucking nuts. Don't ask nut. me. Dude, it fucking pissed me off when, when um, I fucking was looking at that shit. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like that, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, that is. That's just fucking retarded. It's like say. It's like trying to fucking hand someone a fucking a phone that that's supposed to be fucking seven hundred dollars, and 
fucking is that it, they bought it for fucking two dollars. Yeah, oh, manufacturing costs oh, yeah. and everything in that. Yeah, it's, it's messed up. It's messed up no um, matter which way you look at it. I put some soup on in real life. Uh, while these seeds are crafting in my inventory here, I'll hold, be back. Hold on, I'm going to drop something yeah? for you. I'm going to drop something for you. Okay. Alright. Thank you, I'll be back in a moment. Uh. Hey man, I'm back. back. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks. But then because of my uh, intelligence, wisdom, and basic level of knowledge, and the 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 fucking truth that I research topics before I go off and and just buy something randomly, just everyone on this planet. Looks like a fucking moron to me. Yeah, I was, I was just trying to find a fucking a faster internet or download speed and shit like that. So I just went with Google Fiber. I was just trying to well, find a that download speed internet. doesn't mean shit if you have a dynamic IP. Well, yeah, I was just trying to find a cheaper internet for my mom too. Because with um. With Time Warner, she was paying over a hundred hundred some dollars for the internet speed plus the cable TV that that she she got with Time Warner. Yeah, and think, all she had to I do her, was get that on a static IP, and it would have been better. Like it would have immediately improved. All the artifacting you see across well, the screen when you're watching cable, that would have disappeared entirely. Until a storm comes through that's really bad. Well, Time Warner went down the down the drain after like a year or two that we lived here. Like, the, they, they raised my mom's um, bill up. And they fucking... They took the package away that my mom ha had and was trying to make her, her pay for, for more for the package. Oh. So they that's why that she's trying to. Yeah, so that's okay. why my mom quit them and went to direct TV. Then, um. Then the same shit the happened fucking... with them, didn't it? No, the. The, the internet through them was through AT&T, which fucking was complete shit. Like, <laughs> I, I told my mom, I was like, if you went onto the Wi-Fi and I was, like, playing on my PlayStation, you would not be able to even watch a fucking 480p YouTube video. It would be buffering constantly. Yeah, that that's like ninety percent of that is static versus dynamic. So I told my mom, I was like, "Well, um, 
let's see if I can get Google Fiber. And luckily, I was able to get Google Fiber um, before like the six m months because they're like, oh, you got a six month wait and stuff like that. Well, a month later, they contacted me and said that they'll be out to um, to install it and shit like that. And at the time, I didn't I didn't know there was difference between um the static the fucking, and dynamic. Yeah. yeah, that I didn't know anything about that. I I wasn't I'm not like a fucking whiz about fucking internet. Like I don't consider it being a whiz. You know, for me, I just consider this basics. Well, yeah, but see, I never I never really looked into that stuff. Like, nobody's ever brought it to my attention that I could get faster fucking internet speed. Oh, yeah. You, you switch it over to a static IP, you're going to notice a difference. You, you already got a, a cable. <laughs> you plug in a uh, an Ethernet cord, you're going to notice a, an even bigger difference. And see... I, I I always have my I never play my systems um wireless. I always have it hardwired because I find it better having it hardwired. Now on the on the controllers and shit like that, like the headsets and and shit like that, I didn't know know there is actually a fucking difference between them. that having wi yeah, there's wired a difference to there wireless. Too. I have until, them wired, I you, until I they're, met they're you, until I met you, and better. you told me to get a wired headset instead of a wireless. Yeah, it's just a matter of practicality. First off, it's who the fuck wants to spend billions of dollars every ten years on batteries? Just practicality. Well, see, see, I don't use the actual batteries. See, I use the battery packs. Yeah, but even those will run out. Even though they're rechargeable, they'll, they'll they'll deteriorate over time. And you'll wind up replacing those. And every so often, they'll come out with a different model, and you'll have to get the different model, because they'll no longer make the model of battery pack for the, the fucking headset or the controller you're using. So it's just more practical to get a wired headset just for that. Hey, guess what? Yeah? Take a while, guess. Pigs can fly if you throw them? No, no, <laughs> not that. <laughs> I can make concrete. Well, oh, fuck yeah. I just, I just leveled up and I can... Go going to see why I need to make a um cement mixer. And if I can make a cement mixer right now, I'll be making a cement mixer. There's a storm oh, that's locally true. for me. That might have small something to engine. do with our connectivity. Yeah, you're, like your mic is like kind of cutting in and out somewhat, you know? I guess it's a bit kind of on the glitchy side of that, that but I mean, other than that, it's sound pretty. Is that any better? Yeah, that, that's... Well... That's the it, controller it, on like the it, connection. The connection on the controller. They made the controller a piece of shit. And if you even wiggle the connection on the wire slightly, it just basically fucking breaks. Well, no, and, you know, some idiot is that. gonna use that as an argument for, Oh, that's why wireless is better. You fuck you. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Wireless is shit. Where's the water at? Oh, there's water. 
Period. End of story. Wireless is shit. Yeah, I mean, I bought a fucking hundred dollar fucking wireless headset for thirty fucking dollars because I had a bunch of fucking discounts. But they were fucking... running a bunch of discounts on it. No, I had I had a bunch of discounts on it. Oh. Like I had um like think like thirty percent off, then I had a coupon for twenty five dollars off of um. A brand new item. I bought it from GameStop. Oh. GameStop's getting fucking deleted. They didn't want to follow the, uh... Fucking, uh... Isolation procedures during this fucking pandemic. I mean, seriously. How fucking much of a piece of shit are you? That you're so afraid of, of losing your business... That you'll voluntarily fucking destroy your business, disobeying federal fucking orders to shut down non-essential shit. Like, GameStop is non-essential. It deserves to be fucking destroyed. Especially with its yeah, bullshit I mean, practices. Fucking... Like, GameStop, they fucking, they sell the fucking games more than they fucking buy the game back. Yeah, they sell it to you at full fucking brand new price for a used item. I've been in there. I've d I've seen this, done this. And they want to yeah, give you cause... like 50 fucking cents at max for trade-in value. When they're selling like it the at new, full new... fucking release price. For like Fuck the new, new games, uh, um, for pre-owned, it's like $55. And you could pay $60 for a brand new one. Yeah, like, when I pay five dollars um, yes less for a, a used game when I can pay five more dollars for a brand new one. That's not gonna yeah. have scratches from some idiot who doesn't know how to take care of shit. Oh, uh, dude, like, um, they'll they'll ask me, um, like when I buy like a brand new game or something like that, they'll be like, um, do do you want um protection on it? Fuck I was no, like, I don't need off. protection on it. They're like, well, if it scratches, breaks, don't, um, gets I red said no, or, fuck or off. anything like that. And I was like, no, I don't need that. I take really good care of my discs. Like, like, when it comes to gaming, it's like, the shit's my fucking baby. When I go into like, Walmart, the local Walmart, like, everybody in the store knows me already. They know not to ask me if I want protection. And they fucking tell the new people there. This guy, you don't ask him if he wants protection on his games. Yeah, because... They just, they it, already fucking know me. It's fucking, it's, it's not hard to fucking take care of, like, your movies, your CDs, your games. No, it's like real that. easy. You just put them back in the fucking case when you're done. And you don't slide them all up and down the fucking case trying to find the fucking hole like you're a goddamn mongoloid. And that's what too many fucking yeah, like idiots you're... have done. I I see like fucking kids sliding their fucking game and shit like that and then fucking throwing the fucking case and shit like that. It's like, dude, you need to take better fucking care of, care of that shit. Yeah, and that's where 90% of their parents' fucking money goes. Taking care of their dumb ass. They don't deserve what they've got. Yeah, it's like when I was going through high school, there's a fucking eight-year-old. An eight-year-old that had a fucking, uh, one of them credit cards that had no fucking limit to it. Yeah, eight-year-olds don't deserve a fucking credit card. They don't know what the fuck and it, money and currency are. They don't know that it's supposed it's to be like, used as a tool. Um, They're fucking stupid. It's like, why did your fucking parents give you that? Or the fucking eight-year-old and have a fucking cell phone. It's like, um, shit, I didn't have a cell phone until I was like fucking, um, when I got into high school. I had to buy my own cell phone. I had to buy my own everything. Nope, not my parents didn't buy shit for me. 
And when they bought my younger sister a fucking cell phone and paid her bill for her, all that did was piss me the fuck off. See, my, my mom got me a cheap, um, it, it was pretty much a free f phone and it, like, um, it didn't raise up the bill or anything. But, um, she got me the cell phone, um, for, because I was in FFA and stuff like that, so I went to, um, contest and shit like that so I could contact her her um whenever I, I'm b back at at the school or whatever okay. for her to come pick me up and stuff yeah that I can see that but that's that's why just, I got, got a my parents cell were phone, stupid they just straight up well, gave my I younger sister 18, a cell phone and she never fucking earned it once I turned 18 when I got my first job I had to go buy my own cell phone and fucking pay for my own fucking bill and and like that's why I went with um fucking prepaid and like if I, like once I moved up here um I didn't ha have a cell phone at the time because fucking damn thing fucking fucking broke and shit like that so, I told my mom, I was like, hey, mom, can I go get onto your, your um, your, your, your bill, and, and I'll pay for my, my phone and my phone bill. Or, I'll give you the money for my phone and, and for, for how much more extra it is for, for your phone bill. So I can pay for, for my line and shit like that, you know? And that's what I did. I paid for my sh shit. Like I paid for my my phone. I paid for, for um. I paid for fucking everything. Then once I um got off my mom's fucking phone bill, I went with um Verizon prepaid, and I bought my own phone, my own unlocked ph phone and stuff like that too. Um, get get on to um my own service. Fuck yeah. And you and me so seeing like it, younger idiots being given, literally given, unlimited credit cards and shit. All it does is piss us off, cause we had to fucking earn what we have. Well, it's like my my vehicle. I had to actually buy my own vehicle. Like I, um, I I went went to a dealership and fucking was paying for a fucking tr truck. I was making monthly payments and shit like that. Then the fucking thing broke down on me, and fucking they didn't have no warranty to fucking fix it and shit like that. And I didn't have the fucking money to take it to a mechanic and fucking fix it. And um, so. I was like, fuck this shit, I stopped fucking paying on it, because it fucking pissed me the fuck off, because it was supposed to be a fucking, really um, durable fucking truck, and I only had it for fucking three months before it fucking broke down. And the warranty from the dealer didn't cover that? No, the dealer didn't have a fucking warranty. Oh. Oh. Well, in that case, you so, just so, sue the dealer for breach of a uh, federal mandate. Well, the fucking... Well, we're under the lemon fucking... law. Do you even know what the lemon law is? No. Uh, oh my god. Dude. I probably do, but fucking... I fucking look up so many damn laws and shit like that. I don't fucking remember half of the, sh the fucking laws I look up. Yeah, uh, basically in America, everything is fucking illegal. Unless, you know, everything's illegal when you get caught doing it. Until then, anything goes. Just remember, everything is illegal when you get caught doing it. So you can, you can, oh, you can fuck anyone over for anything. If, if you don't like somebody, uh, who, who fucking flicks you off on the highway... You can fucking have them arrested and imprisoned for interstate commerce violation. Just because they drove a vehicle across state line. 
Yeah, you you can yeah, do I that. Doubt that. <laughs> the, the everything in America is illegal when you get caught. And so far, all the people who have caught the uh, the people in charge doing all this illegal shit. What the fuck has happened? You know, where where the fuck is their fucking arrest and imprisonment for 20 fucking years like they deserve? The only thing they get is, oh, you poor deer, you're under so much stress, they're there. That's what the assholes in charge get. Well, people like you and me, we get fucking 20 year prison sentences just because, yeah. you know, they don't like us. Fuck them. And fuck their corrupt American Ooh. system. I found some honey. And that that uh, that adage you've you've probably already heard about you know cussing out a, a female in Alabama will get you a twenty year prison sentence. That's a fucking thing. It actually is. It's not just a joke. Yeah, I, 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 I saw that and I was I was like, what the fuck? Like I was like, damn. I mean, you're gonna violate my fucking unalienable right to the fucking freedom of speech, and it is. It's a civil fucking uh, right under the unable right yeah. to live my own life however the fuck I want. Yeah. You're gonna fucking and, and violate of that. Speech of saying yeah, stuff. you're gonna you're gonna violate my freedom of speech just because I tell some like, fucking tart to fuck off. Fuck you. And and fucking um, the cops get fucking pissed off when you don't get give your license and shit like that when they pull you over for. You're not federally required you... to comply with that. Yeah, um, and they get pissed off when you, you tell them that you, we, we the people, pay pay for your your service to help out us and our needs, and they hey, get man. pissed off about that. You know that old fucking thing, serve the public trust. It's a public trust fund. And your fucking social security number, there's a red or a blue number on the back of your social security card that goes to a public trust fund where the rich fuckers steal money from you. That's what the cops yes, are, not you. But we, we, we pretty much pay their salary, too, with our taxes and shit yeah, like that. that. There's a there's a, um, a Federal Reserve so, account. So, that's tied to your so social much security what, what number. We, we do and they dip into that pay. and take whatever they want when they take you to court. Ooh. That's what the paperwork means when you're signing it. You're signing away your right to exist to them. And like, and it's like, you don't have the right to fucking get fucking mouthy with the, us because shit, if we're not not complying because you're not complying with us. You're not telling us what the fuck you're pulling us over for. No, it's not just that. Like, like come up to, to us and tell us why you pulled us over. Oh, you, sir, you're speeding. Okay. Yes. I, I, I was speeding. Yes. Okay, I'm going to comply now because, yes, I did break the law. I, I fuck the I law speeding. and fuck them. I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. They've already violated my fucking unalienable rights. They've already treated me as a slave and as a debt instrument. Fuck them. Fuck their law. I'm not complying with any of it ever again. If they think that they're going to fucking touch me from me saying this, fuck them. I reserve the right to publicly execute them for the high treason they've committed already. Fuck them. And in this situation that's going on with this virus outbreak, there's a fucking senator or um, uh, whatever asshole, leader of a state, saying that the Constitution he swore to uphold when he got sworn into office is above his pay grade. You tell me that they're not fucking oh, corrupt. Oh, governor? Yeah, the governor of a place said that. Yeah, fuck them, <laughs> fuck their law, fuck their existence. I reserve the right to execute Dude. them on sight. Fucking, their the shit fuck is fucking... fuck are we gonna fucking... put wood? Um... 
Just find a fucking ch chest to throw fucking random fucking okay. pieces of, or we'll throw fucking um we'll little stone there. Do a chest where where the do a whole chest of stone. J just do, do a fucking whole chest of fucking every resource. Like hey, do that, a whole chest of um, iron. That's for you to do. Buddy, that's for you to set up. You've got all these supply chests strewn everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. <laughs> you need to get that organized. I'm just going to go out and hunt and stuff. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll, I'll be the fucking organizer of the fucking materials for the forge. Yeah, I've already done some farming, so now I'm just going to go out and try to hunt. I guess he... he... Did he take a crossbow? Where did you put it? It's in the workbench. I done told you where the fuck it was at. Uh, like fucking five times already. <laughs> workbench. God damn it, I tried to fucking bullet jump again. <laughs> <laughs> the cross. You the got crossbow a bolt. Finally. Oh, nice. It's finally done. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't know where the fuck to place that Crossbow so much, though. bolts. Yeah, what's what's the uh, recipe for that? Um, the, there... I got a stack of t 250 crossbow bolts in the... in the, um, bottom ammo chest closest to the stairs. They only come in iron? I'll just take the 80. How much more yeah, damage that... do they do as opposed to... Dude, take the 250. I got the... I got 250 fucking crossbow bolts on me. Oh, uh, okay. I gave you that... that... that much for, um... Because you'd be doing most of the hunting and shit like that. 18.3 so, like, versus 8.04. Yeah, I'm scrapping that that bow, and I'm scrapping all the arrows. Just, you know, I'm, I'm don't, just gonna go. Don't scrap all the arrows. I, I can sell the arrows to the, um, to the, um, whatchamacallit. To the trader. Hey laddie, it's a wee bit late for that. God damn it. I'm getting 136 oh. wood out of it. Wait, I'm not getting the feathers and the fucking stone back? No. You only get wood back from scrapping the arrows. Oh, fuck you, fun fams. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you. That's why I sell the, the um, arrows to the trader. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> okay. Okay. Lesson learned, don't ever scrap arrows. Ever. It's just not fucking worth it. Hey, those trees are planted grew. Fuck yeah. They look nice. Damn, that's gonna take fucking 32 minutes. Get that one. Wood. Fucking crane fly flew right in front of my face, man. I opened my door for a bit of fresh air. <laughs> and it's raining, you know? So a crane fly yeah. just goes right in, and I'm like, God damn it, you little fuck. <laughs> there we go. There I go. I got a stuff I need for the baseline. Now I'm let's hope I can... Of fucking gunpowder. Oh yeah. Let's hope I can run into a few more deer. Like, I need to run into five deer before I get back. Yeah, ho hopefully. Hopefully before um, I have to get off, too. This is 
getting close to that time where I guess to get off to go to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start one of my own maps where we can jump back and forth. And I'm gonna have to make it, uh... I'm gonna have to, like, boost myself massively on it. Then, you know, set a bunch of stuff for you to where we can jump back and forth. Yeah, so, like, whenever I'm not... Where, like, I, I could, um, do a bunch of fucking farming and shit on, on, the, on this map when you're not on... And, like, when I'm not on, you could do a bunch of farming and shit on your map. Yeah, and that's I mean, because I we mean, don't have, that... like, a server that we can set this map on and both of us go back and forth on it. Yeah, which I think is kind of fucking gay. Yeah, yeah like yeah, Minecraft. To be honest... Like that too. To be honest, you should be able to fucking jump in and out of this fucking map as much as I can. Well, I guess, I guess they made it where fucking the host fucking actually, um, d d could jump in and do, do all the fucking random shit that, um, the host needs to do. Which, I mean, I still fucking think it's fucking get gay that, that they did it that way. Well, there we go. See my nuts are down. I just need to... <clears throat> Not much of a point saying much, you know? Right now, anyway. Like with this whole situation the way it is, they can't really do much anymore. Like they should have done a lot back uh, two years ago when they fucking released this game for fucking console. They should have kept up on it instead of turning it over to another company and saying fuck it. Because now, yeah, for damn much. now it just shows how much of a shit idea that that was. Yeah. Now, even back then, it showed how much of a shit idea it was. Just now, it, it amplifies the problem like five times more. Where did I stick the fucking shotgun shit at? Oh, that's the 44 mag. Okay, this is the shotgun. Why I'm gonna end this stream recording because we we're we're just you know in the phase of fucking collecting. We'll come back and I mean not come back. We'll fucking start another stream like fucking months later or something. <laughs> Feel free to tell everyone to fuck right on off. Oh, they can fuck right on off and fucking suck it easy. All right, till next time, everybody. Fuck off.